Not too long ago, we shared how you can dial in your settings for Streamlabs OBS when you're streaming to YouTube and Twitch. But what if you want to stream onto Facebook Live? I know, you're probably saying I've had a lot of issues, headaches, hassles, and horse manure, but we're going to go and show you how to easily do it. So stay tuned. Welcome to Live Streaming Tech, where you learn to stream like a pro from technology you should know. Today we're going to discuss how you're going to dial in your Streamlabs OBS settings so you can stream over onto Facebook Live. However, I would like to know, have you streamed on Facebook Live before and what kind of issues have you had so far? Leave those down inside the comments down below and we'll make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Now, if you're far beyond frustrated or you've had some kind of reservations when it comes to streaming on Facebook Live, then today's video is really going to help get you on the right path. And I think my brother's going to go ahead and handle this from here. So take it away, Walt. Okay. I'm auditioning for the role of Stormtrooper 802. Uh, All right. Crotch mic in place. Before we jump into Streamlabs OBS and the settings, and I show you how to live stream on Facebook, let's hit a couple of topics, the boring stuff, before we get into the nitty gritty. First, we need to look at what is the maximum bit rate we're allowed to stream on Facebook, and that is 4,000 KPS. That's right. Unfortunately, Facebook has squished us down to 720p at 30 frames per second. And it's pretty much like my previous videos where I talk about YouTube and I talk about Twitch. And that 720p at 30 frames per second is anywhere between 2,500 KPS to 4,000 KPS. Unfortunately, Facebook, they haven't caught, caught on to the live streaming yet. And that is where we're at on that. <laughs> That's going to be an easy one. 720p at 30 frames per second, 2,500 KPS on upwards to 4,000 KPS. First thing you want to do though, is you want to make sure that you can handle those speeds. Not everyone has great internet uh, service. What you need to do is go ahead, open your browser, go to Google and type in speed test internet or internet speed test. And what you want to do is you want to check it a couple times in the morning, a couple times in the afternoon and a couple times at night and average out what your upload speed is. A lot of people get hung up on, oh, I got 80 megabits per second download. But then when they look at their upload, they only have two megabits per second upload, which is only 2000 KPS. We need to really focus on that and make sure that we can handle that. Now, as far as your viewers are concerned, 720p at 30 frames per second, max 4000 KPS. I don't see too many people having any buffering issues. If they do, you can always drop that bad boy down to 2500 KPS. Now, Let's go ahead and head on over to Streamlabs OBS and I'll show you how to set it up in the settings. First thing you need to do, such as I've already done, is log into your Streamlabs OBS under your Facebook account. Then go up to the upper right hand corner and click that sprocket. That is your settings. Now we're going to select video. The first number is base canvas resolution. That is what I, the streamer, or you, the streamer, are seeing yourself. That is your native desktop resolution, or whatever program. You're using. The second number, the output scaled resolution, is what your viewer will see. Now, as we've covered earlier in the video, we know that Facebook does not allow us to stream in 1080p. So we need to bring that down. We're going to drop it down to 720 because that is the max we could go, which is fine because now I'm taking my native resolution or my base resolution, which is 1080p and shrinking it down to 720. You're not gonna have that much quality. Actually, sometimes it improves the quality of the stream by taking such a higher resolution and shrinking it down to a lower resolution. The next thing we need to do is Facebook also has told us that we cannot go above 30 frames per second. And since we're gonna be playing a card game, let's go for it. It's not gonna hurt it. I would do the same thing on Twitch or YouTube. Now that we have that all set, let's go to output. Make sure your output mode is selected to advanced. Scroll on down. We're gonna make sure our encoder is set to X264. 
That is your CPU doing the encoding. Next is the rate control. We are going to select CBR if it is not already selected. That is constant bit rate. Now, as we know, Facebook won't let us go above 4,000 KPS. We are set to 5,000 right now. Not a problem. Type in 4,000. We're set to 4,000 KPS. Keyframe intervals, leave it at two. CPU usage, I recommend very fast. You can play around with this. Remember, the slower, the more CPU uses. The higher, the less it uses. Very fast tends to work. For click done. And now all we have to do is click go live and we're ready to stream on Facebook Live. See, that was simple enough. We showed you exactly how you can live stream on Facebook. However, if you haven't set up Streamlabs yet, might I recommend you go over and check out this other video. That way we can get you on the right path and you can be streaming on Facebook Live before you know it. I'll see you in the next video. You can also set up a merchandise store, which this is actually quite new to back when I first started streaming. Um, you can literally, it's click and paste. You set up your own t-shirts.